Our viewer question today uh, is about leaky gut, and they have asked, do you have suggestions to heal leaky gut and perhaps even help with the pain that is involved with it as well? Oh my, a lot in that question, very important aspects. Uh, the leaky gut phenomenon refers to the fact that our intestinal tract, the 22 feet of small intestine through which we absorb our nutrients from our food and the six feet of our colon has a double function, has many functions actually, but it's not only the membrane through which we absorb our nutrients, but there's an important barrier function that our intestinal wall uh, um, uh, provides for us because there's a lot of things going by in your food stream you do not want out in your bloodstream, undigested food proteins, the cell walls of bacteria that break down, you don't want that in your bloodstream, and a healthy gut wall prevents those from, from getting into our circulation. But modern life is an assault on our gut bacteria, and we do things that injure uh, our, our gut wall. Uh, we uh, drink alcohol, we drink chlorinated drinking water, we, uh, people are still eating meat, the, the chickens are fed antibiotics, those go down and, uh, and cause havoc in our gut. We take antibiotics for runny noses and viral infections, things that we really shouldn't be taking antibiotics for. Uh, there's lots of uh, chemicals in the water and food that also can upset our, our gut flora. So uh, there's a lot of things that can, combined with a diet heavy in meat and sugars, will foster microbes that burrow into the gut wall, damage the gut wall, uh, and allow uh, the food proteins leak in the bloodstream, creating the so-called leaky gut. And once these problematic molecules gain access to our circulatory system, they flow through various organs and, and cause problems. They can, they can uh, flow through our immune system, set off adverse antibody formation that uh, attaches to our tissues, leading to autoimmune diseases. Uh, they can cause sore joints, make asthma worse, etc. cetera. Uh, so it's a real phenomenon. Uh, however, it shouldn't hurt. The gut wall, when it gets more permeable, again, allows food proteins in the bloodstream, but there should be no pain associated with that. Now, if you've got a disease that involves inflammation of the gut wall, if you've got ulcerative colitis or you've got Crohn's disease, you'll have a leaky gut from that inflammation. And that, that, those inflammatory conditions, they hurt. Um, and so if you've got colitis or Crohn's disease, yes, you need to deal with that. There are protocols, plant-based ones, uh, to help heal inflammation from the gut wall. But if you have, um, say, been taking lots of ibuprofen, um, which makes the gut wall leaky, if you've had a, a, a bout of chemotherapy for a cancer, that can make the gut leaky. If you've got some chemical issue, um, you may get the sore joint from that, uh, from the leaky gut phenomenon, but the gut wall itself shouldn't uh, be painful to you. But can you heal it? Absolutely. Yeah, it should be healed. Stop the unbalancing factors in your life. Stop drinking alcohol, stop eating the meat, especially with the antibiotics, but stop eating them anyway. Uh, don't take unnecessary antibiotics for runny noses, uh, stop taking the ibuprofen and the, see if you can minimize the chemotherapy, stop, 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 all those things that injure the gut wall. And then there's a protocol for helping the gut wall heal, which you will do anyway. You're constantly growing a new lining to your intestine, the same way you're growing new skin all the time from the basal layers up to the surface. Now, when you're growing a new gut wall, about every week the, the cells will replace themselves. You just want to make sure that they grow in with a nice tight junction between them uh, so they're not so leaky. Uh, there are supplements that can help with this. One's called quercetin, one's called glutamine. Uh, and here's a case for, um, for six weeks or so of a nice uh, potent antibiotic. Uh, I'm sorry, a, a, po a probiotic. Uh, again, this is if you've got uh, evidence of a leaky gut. Um, you've got, you know, you took antibiotics and a few weeks later developed sore joints. Uh, that, that's a pretty good correlation uh, that you've got gut wall permeability issues. Um, that, though, in that case, I would take both the quercetin, the glutamine, and, and a couple of months worth of uh, probiotics, you know, one of the more potent ones. Uh, I've written this all up. It's on my website. I go to drclapper.com, D-O-C-T-O-R-K-L-A-P-E-R.com. Click on answers and do a search for leaky gut, and you'll see the whole protocol 
uh, on how to heal leaky gut. Um, so I know that it's fixable, it, it wants to fix itself anyway if you just help it, uh, but it shouldn't hurt. Uh, if there's pain involved, there's something else going on that you really ought to talk to your doctor about. So, uh, so don't despair if you got a leaky gut diagnosis, uh, but uh, act on it and it should uh, fix itself. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Each day, Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our daily Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.